All right, so we got our ballistics gel from Clear Ballistics set up and ready to go. We have a few things we're going to test, and this isn't going to be all the videos I do, but there are just a few things I need to know. So first and foremost is the obelisk, because I have wondered for a while what kind of penetrative power this thing has. This is the original obelisk, so it's going to be the first one we do. I'm going to throw it half spin first, and then we'll try no spin after that, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Alright. You want to do it now, Spin? Alright. Scott's going to do it. No spin. And it wasn't even a hard throw. Alright. I didn't throw it hard last time. I'm going to throw it hard this time. Obelisk. From about four meters. Half spin. Just kick it the rest of the yeah. way. Half speed. That was so good. That looks so cool. Alright, so we've seen a few of the knives and stuff, the, the obelisks are incredible, but now I'm kind of curious about something a little less conventional. This is a bow shuriken that I made out of a broken flathead screwdriver. It's very lightweight, I don't know the exact weight, but it can't be more than about two ounces. You know, it's, it's light. So Definitely lighter than an obelisk. Yeah. Bow shuriken style throw. Let's do this. Doesn't quite have the weight to carry through. That still would suck. Yeah, ass, I mean, that's, that's that's two inches deep, inch and a half. Enough to get you. Inch and a half. All right, half spin. Oh, that was not a flat. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh.
All right, completely unsharpened, but let's see what a throwing knife for competition will do to the ballistics gel. Full spin, three meters. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. That was pretty dead straight. Yeah, that's as It left about a first knuckle finger hole depth worth of hole. So a not sharpened throwing knife against a ballistic dummy really didn't, I mean it would suck, it really would. It would leave a really big hole in you, but like, it wouldn't do a ton of damage at just a normal competition throw. Now if we ramp up the throw a little bit, we'll see what happens. This knife has a slightly more aggressive tip. Yeah, let's see what this knife does, that'll be fun. Once again, no edge, just a tip. Full spin three meters, Bushido. Using a competition throw. That was dead straight. Bushido, no edge, just a tip. And not a super sharp tip. Let's see what happens. thrower of my own invention. It's pretty tough to throw, but let's see what happens. No spin, three meters. No spin.
I thought that just went straight through that thing, dude. I like... All right, so I just want to say, first of all, thanks so much to Clear Ballistics for sending me that awesome block of ballistics gel. What a blast. It's so cool. Um, it's something I've always wanted to do, and it was every bit as entertaining as I expected it to be. I hope that all of you found it just as entertaining. Um, I didn't make the best video ever because I was so excited about just getting to play with it that I wasn't really focused on making a quality video, but I still think it was kind of entertaining uh, to watch at least. I hope you did too. Uh, I will be making more videos with the block. Um, I have to melt it down because it is chock full of holes now. Um, I'm going to melt it down and reform it and hopefully be able to do that pretty soon. And I will let you guys know and I will test out a bunch of other knives. If anybody wants to see what their knives, you know, do to a ballistics gel block, I can find out for you. You know, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited to continue playing with it. Once again, Clear Ballistics, thank you so much. If all y'all aren't following Clear Ballistics, do me a personal favor. Go follow them because they made some dreams come true for me and I really, really appreciate it. So, Clear Ballistics, I owe you one. All you people, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Keep on slanging and we're going to do it again soon.